Hey Cougar fans, Beth O'Donnell here with another edition of This Week in Cougar Athletics. Each week we bring you the top stories, highlights, and let you know what's planned for the week to come. So let's get started. The Cougar baseball series against Eastern Michigan started a day late, but that didn't stop the Cougars from a four-game sweep. Weather postponed the game Friday, forcing two doubleheaders Saturday and Sunday at Bailey Brayton Field. Redshirt freshman Nick Tanielu hit 500 for the series and added two doubles, two triples, a home run, seven RBI, and eight runs scored. It was the first time WCU swept two doubleheaders against the same team in the same season since Portland State in April of 1997. WSU Tennis defeated the Portland Pilots this past weekend 7-0. Junior Olga Musilovic improved to 11-0 in dual matches this season with a straight set win. Track and field competed at the MPSF Indoor Championships this past weekend in Seattle. Junior Drew Jordan won the men's 500 meter in 13 minutes 54.35 seconds, which is a personal best and ranked 24th nationally. Senior Shaquana Logan finished 8th in the long jump, 5th in the 60-meter hurdles, and then triple jump for the first time in her Cougar career, grabbing 6th place. The men's team finished 4th while the women's finished 7th in the meet. Both Drew and Shaquana were named WCCougars.com Student Athletes of the Week for their efforts. Men's golf placed 7th in the John A. Burns Intercollegiate in Oahu, Hawaii. Senior Hank Frame finished tied for 9th, the 5th top 10 finish for the senior in 6 tournaments this year. Men's golf also competed in the Snowman Getaway in Goodyear, Arizona. Sophomore Michael Anderson won his first career individual title after shooting a one over par in Tuesday's final round. The Cougar men's team finished second in the tournament behind 26th ranked Missouri. Women's golf competed at the Westbrook Spring Invitational in Peoria, Arizona. The team shot three over par, a 10 stroke improvement on its best score from the first two rounds in Monday's final round. The Cougar women launched themselves from 10th to 7th on the leaderboard with the 4th best team score in the final round. Women's basketball took on both Colorado and Utah last weekend. Freshman Leah Galdera's 14 points at Utah was the 25th time this season she has scored in double figures, breaking Jasmine Perkins' school record for double-digit scoring games by a freshman. Men's basketball headed to the desert to take on both Arizona schools. Senior Brock Modem moved into 7th place on WCU's all-time career scoring list, passing Benny Seltzer. Modem now has 1,433 career points, just 25 points shy of Marcus Moore. Now let's take a look at what's going on this week in Cougar Athletics. Swimming will compete in the Pac-12 Women's Swimming Championships Wednesday through Saturday in Federal Way, Washington. You can watch tape-delayed coverage on the Pac-12 networks on March 5th at 7.30 p.m. Cougar Baseball wraps up their homestand with a four-game series against Cal State Northridge. First pitch on Thursday and Friday is at 6 p.m., then a 2 p.m. start Saturday before the series wraps up Sunday at noon. The Cougars enter the week riding a five-game winning streak. Live stats will be available at WCCougars.com. Women's basketball will play the California Golden Bears at 6 p.m. Thursday in Beasley Coliseum. A live webcast will be available at pack-12.com. Then the Cougars wrap up the regular season against the Stanford Cardinal at noon Saturday. The Stanford game will be senior day for the Cougars and will be televised by the Pac-12 networks. Both games can be heard on KHTR 104.3 FM in the Pullman area as well as through WCCougars.com. Tennis will host Boise State at 11 a.m. Saturday in Hollingberry Fieldhouse. WCU enters the week tied for 40th nationally and riding a six-match winning streak. Men's basketball will head to Seattle to take on the Washington Huskies at 12.30 p.m. on Sunday. The game will be televised by Root Sports and Fox Sports Net. Radio coverage is available on KQQQ 11.50 a.m. in the Pullman area as well as on WCCougars.com. That's all that's going on this week in Cougar Athletics. Be sure to check out WCCougars.com for schedules, results, and highlights. Until next week, I'm Beth O'Donnell. Go Cougs!